10 years since the collapse of the housing market, and home flipping is back in a big way. The number of investors flipping homes is returning to pre-crisis levels. Even big banks are getting back in the game, according to the Wall Street Journal. Joining us now is Nav Athwal, CEO of Realty Shares, which is an online marketplace lender for real estate projects. What's your take on this comeback in flipping homes, Nav? I'm not surprised by it at all. I mean, there's, it's, uh, home flipping is thriving for a few reasons. The perfect recipe for home flipping today, you're seeing imp appreciating home prices, so you're seeing home values at historically high levels, and you're seeing a very low supply environment. This is the perfect recipe for flippers to turn a quick profit. In fact, compared to 2009, where profits on average were $19,000 per flip, today they're $61,000 per flip. And we're going to see continued uh, strong trends towards this activity of flipping homes going into 2017 as prices remain at historical highs, especially in the costly coast, and supply remains really uh, low it, due to home builder sentiment being low in, in developing new projects. How, and much, money, new how much money are these, these flippers, these investors, if you will, putting down on mortgages? Isn't the credit there for them? So I know the Wall Street Journal mentioned banks getting back into the market, but banks are not getting back in a direct way. Instead, they're providing lines of credit for private lenders that are extending credit for these flippers. Credit for home flippers has historically been a very underserved part of the banking market. Instead, you're seeing these very local regional players, hard money lenders, lend money at a very expensive clip to these home, uh, home flippers. And you're seeing the entrance of new marketplace lenders like Realty Shares providing a much more efficient source of capital. So I do think part of the momentum for flippers is being driven by technology platforms like Realty Shares that are making credit much more available than banks have historically made it for this demographic of, of home investors. But what about the danger to the housing market overall that we saw some 10 years ago? Yeah, I mean, I know the last uh, correction happened a lot, due a lot, a lot to the subprime lending environment, and there is danger of that. I mean, if you start lowering credit standards, you start extending credit to flippers that don't have a track record or very low FICOs or low document loans, you do have the same risks you had in the subprime uh, uh, crisis. I think the biggest and most important thing for home lenders and, 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 and bank, non-bank lenders is um, being very uh, savvy with their credit standards. We hired a chief credit officer mm -hmm. early on this in 2016 who was a former risk and policy controls head at City Mortgage because credit standards are so important no matter who right. you're lending to, whether it's a consumer mortgage lender, uh, borrower or a home flipper, credit standards need to, need to remain very high. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a correction. I'd call it an utter collapse. And, uh, you, you know, far and wide you saw first payment defaults, people who took out, who got mortgages, liar loans, got mortgages and never made one payment on those mortgages and it all blew up in everyone's face. Now, thanks so much. Yeah. It was good to see Nav Athwal. Please come back. We'll speak to you soon.